Hey, it's Vaughn, and welcome back to Let's Play The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim, ladies and gentlemen. I think we're all in a pretty good spot, because guess what? We're going to be starting the Dark Brotherhood, which I feel like is the majority of Elder Scrolls players' favorite thing to do in any Elder Scrolls game. Uh, let's see, there was the Dark Brotherhood in Morrowind, right? But it involved a DLC. There was the Kamana Tong, or sorry, the Morong Tong. I always forget how to pronounce that. Um... Which was sort of the Assassin's Guild, but it had honor. I forget, it's been a while since I've done the Morong Tong. But there was also the Dark Brotherhood. They would assassinate you or attempt to in your sleep in Morwen. In Oblivion, it is by far. It's not even like an opinion at this point. It's like by far the most fun thing to do in Oblivion. At least in my opinion, but I feel like in most people's opinions. Uh, in this game, it's pretty good too. I feel that it's too short. I'm not going to get too much into it because I'm sure there are still people that have not played Skyrim and are watching this for the first time. Uh, but yes, I, I guess I sort of did spoil it, but... I don't know, you can probably guess what this quest leads to. Anyways, we're doing Innocence Lost. The mother of Aventus Aretino recently died, and the boy was sent to live at Honor Hall Orphanage in Riften. He thinks I'm a Dark Brotherhood assassin, and wants me to kill the orphanage's sadistic headmistress, Grelod the Kind. Which we have done in the last episode. Honor Hall is over there, we are in Riften. Uh, which means now we need to tell Aventus Aretino that Grelod is dead. So back to Windhelm we go. All right, and once more up these steps, we must travel up, up these steps, not not those steps. Those are inferior steps. These were the steps that I was referencing. Uh, Windhelm does have a great side quest that we will be doing eventually. In fact, we should probably get it out of the way early. Still, of course, need to remember to go to that freaking stone that I'm never going to do. Um, that gives us 15%, a 15% increase to learning all of our abilities. You know what? Maybe we'll do it after this. Yeah. All right. Let's just let's just say we're gonna do it after this. Well, Grelod the Kind is she? You know. Grelod the Kind is dead. Aha! I knew you could do it. I just knew it. I knew the Dark Brotherhood would save me. Here, just like I promised. This should fetch you a nice price. Uh, thank you. Thank you again. And no problem, child. Can I leave this? conversation now there we go we got the aretino family heirloom which is nothing really special but it is unique so i usually like to save it there we go look at that we got a plate that's worth 100 yay i usually just keep that since it's unique it's not even unique you know it's just uniquely named but you guys know where i'm coming from all right so now that's it we're, we're done with the dark brotherhood that's it there's nothing left to do um so in the meantime have we been to markarth no but we have been near it let's go to reach water rock and see if we can spot that uh it's not the guardian stone because the guardian stones are the three original ones let's see can we see it somewhere oh don't make me find it where could it be i i know it's like outside of markarth it could be like right i think if it was right here though we would see it. I know it's like on an outlook. Maybe if we travel in this direction, we'll find it. Let's just try that. Although, yeah, I'm not sure how we're going to get up there. Can we fast travel to anything over there? Does not look like it. Hmm. All right, let's just head over here. What should we talk about as we attempt to find this? I was just talking about something. Oh, yeah. Can you guys believe that the Dark Brotherhood quest line is that short? We're just confused. For a Dark Brotherhood assassin, and then we uh, kill an evil lady, and, and that's it. There's nothing else to do. How disappointing, right? So I guess we'll move on to something else after we get this Guardian Stone. I might not even... No, it's not Guardian Stone. What is it called? Ugh. There's an achievement for finding, like, all of them. And, uh, yeah, I'm just forgetting what they're called, but, uh... Hmm. I know it's on... I know it's on an Outlook somewhere. But it doesn't look like... I feel like we would see it on our compass already if this was the case. I guess we'll just go to that waypoint, although I'm not finding a way to even get up here. Okay, come on. If we do some fancy footwork, I don't think this is going to be possible. But hey, put your mind to it. We might be able to. We're jumping. We got this. Come on, just a little bit further. Let me just scale these rocks. Like I said, it's, it's definitely not even going to be over here, though. Um... Let's see if I can spot it from memory. It might be on this. I know it's like, like I've been saying, it's over in Outlook somewhere. Alright, let me just try and get up here real quick. Come on! There we go. Okay, we'll get up to the top of this and see, number one, if the- Oh! I found it. I found it. Look at that. Okay, it just popped up. Sweet. So we can remove that. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's over here somewhere. 
So hopefully we don't have to scale another mountain. Looks like it's going to be below us because there's no way unless... Oh, jeez. Unless it's like at the top of of that. It must be. Yeah, you can see there's a... Uh, the draw distance is so good on PC. You can see there's like a cave entrance and a bridge and a little hut. But uh, we're going to need to jump over here a little bit. All right. Now, give me an avenue to go up, please, to climb this. Please, don't make me. No, where are you taking me? Okay, there we go. Come on. Come on, Bethesda. Just work with me. Come on. Oh, so close. I don't want to cut. I'm, I'm, I'm fighting the urge to just cut here because I'm not sure how long this is going to take me. Yeah, let me just go ahead and cut. Screw this. All right, I was able to scale most of it. Now we just got to... Make the climb. Oh, jeez. Why did I... Why did I cut back? I should have just waited till I got there. It's okay. This this is definitely an incline that we can climb. That we can incline, if you will. And at the top awaits our destination. If this is not the stone that I'm thinking of, I'm probably just going to quit YouTube. So for all my haters, there's, there's not a lot. Maybe like two. Hi, Greg. Hi, Joe. The two haters. Nope, this is it. I recognize this one. Yep. So here we have... The lover stone. Yeah, I always call it the lady because you can see the lover and the lady are sort of similar. Um, where are you going, bear? Take a fireball to the face. Bye bye. All right, so if we activate this one, those under the sign of the lover always feel a lover's comfort. All skills improve faster. You may only have one sign blessing at a time. Well, that's actually confusing because it doesn't tell you how much it is. I know I've looked it up and it is 15% for all skills, which means. We level up all skills 15% faster, as opposed to just mage skills 20% faster. So it's clearly better. I mean, it's it's just better. It affects sneak, it affects alchemy, all the stuff that we're going to be using that we're not going to be focusing on, it's still going to increase. So, yeah. I, I don't know why you would ever have anything other than that one. It just doesn't make sense to me. Okay, so after that long journey up to that... Uh, what is that? Does it do... <sighs> what? Waystone? I don't know. I'm just going to stop going along that path of thinking. Um, I'm pretty tired. I am pretty tired indeed. We've got a lot of stuff in our inventory. Let's go ahead and go back to Riverwood and take a nap in the Sleeping Giant Inn and uh, drop all this stuff off. I'm just feeling really beat. You know, we've been we've been exploring. We've been doing quests. We've been doing, we've been doing so many different things. I'm I've spoken, been looking for you. you know, so got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Yeah, got this note. From who? Don't know. Creepy fella. Black robe. Couldn't see his face. Paid me a pretty sum to get that into your hands, though. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Okay, I was wondering if there was going to be a dragon here. And indeed there is. Let's make sure Unrelenting Force is equipped. Can you equip a voice? I don't know. Um... If I can see your name, dragon, I need to know how powerful you are. Why are they hurting each other? Well, because this dragon wants to kill us, silly girl. Come on, use your brain. Okay, fireball is not going to do much. Um, 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 I guess our next best bet is sparks, right? We don't really have any uh, leeway in the way of different types of magic. I guess we need to get something like a, a shock bolt. Because there is a shock bolt, right? I'm assuming there is. Let's not step in the fire. That was dumb. Come on, guards. I need your DPS. Let's go. Fire fire at this thing with your magnificent accuracy. And that's not sarcastic for once. They actually have really really good accuracy. They'll always hit them, pretty much. It's almost as if they're like computers. Alright, let's shout them. We need to just be really careful that we don't deal damage to uh, any of our friends here, because I don't want these guards to attack me. Come on, let's go. You're delaying the inevitable, dragon. You're not even a, an elder dragon. You're not even a an adept dragon. I forget what their names are, the different levels of dragons. You can see we've outscaled them pretty pretty well so far. They're not really doing too much to me. It's not really doing too much to me. And now it's going to die. We can just tank its stuff, really. Who has more DPS, dragon, you or me? I don't want to find out. Just die, please. Thank you. Okay, let me go ahead and loot you, buddy. Uh, we cannot take any of this. Oh, we could take a little bit. 
Yeah, and that's all we're going to be able to take. Your soul, please. Come on, let's go. Mm-hmm. You don't got to be dramatic. Just give me your soul so I can be on my way. Thank you very much. All right. Yeah, pretty much there's a really, really good chance every time you travel to, um, to a town that there will indeed be a dragon. An outside town. That's why I was really surprised when one attacked Windhelm. What? Something you're still confused about. No, Delphine. I just want to take a nap. That's it. You don't have to always be on my back. All right. So before we take that nap, let's run through all this stuff. I don't think we have anything to disenchant. We do not. Um, let's go ahead and try out all of our ingredients. Okay, let me go ahead and make some potions. Alright, so I'm, I'm almost done dropping off all of my unique stuff. I forgot to actually read that mysterious note because the dragon attacked that the courier, uh, courier gave us. So let's go ahead and read this. Yep, I'm sure we've all seen this one before. There's a black hand. Where have I heard that phrase before? And just as we know and uh, if you're not getting this is relating to the Aventus Aretino quest that we just completed when we killed Grelod so very interesting indeed and that's all it says so let's store that since we're done with it no not I already read it let's store it and what is the tattered note enter twice that's from Shalador's May store that and then store the Ethereum Wars but we cannot because it is quest related anything in here yes goodbye um, goodbye, 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 goodbye. No! Damn it. Okay. Grab that in a second. Do, 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 do. And we have a couple of wooden bowls that we need to drop off. All right. So, in the chest, I think there was two things that I wanted to grab back. Forget what they were. One was the emerald. And the other one was the staff of Yurik Galderson. Someone was saying this is better than the Staff of Magnus. Target takes 25 points of damage and twice as much magic of damage. Yeah, that sounds way better than uh, the Staff of Magnus because the Staff of Magnus drains magic at 20 points and then starts draining HP. This sounds like it's way better. It, I mean, doesn't it? Someone was making a comment that it is. It is actually better than the Staff of Magnus for mages. Regardless, we will take it and use it if we run out of magicka. So, that's a good backup plan. Alright, I am beat. Um, there's not actually a bed down there. Let's close our secret stuff. I actually forgot to close that. Pretend it never happened. Can we sleep in here? No, bed owned? Really? Do we have to buy a bed when when we know the owner, Delphine? Wait, can we sleep? Ah, there we go. Alright, let's close that. And let's take a much-deserved rest. So, let's see. 12 hours would be 7 a.m., 8, 9, 10. There we go. Sleep well. What? Where am I? Who are you? Does it matter? You're warm, dry, and still very much alive. That's more than can be said for old Grelod, hmm? You know about that? Half of Skyrim knows. Old hag gets butchered in her own orphanage. Things like that tend to get around. Oh, but don't misunderstand. I'm not criticizing. It was a good kill. Old Crone had it coming. And you saved a group of urchins to boot. But there is a slight... Mm, problem. A problem? You see, that little Aretino boy was looking for the Dark Brotherhood. For me, and my associates. Grelod the Kind was, by all rights, a Dark Brotherhood contract. A kill that you stole. A kill you must repay. You want me to murder someone else? Who? Well now, funny you should ask. If you turn around, you'll notice my guests. I've collected them from... Well, that's not really important. The here and now. That's what matters. You see, there's a contract out on one of them, and that person can't leave this room alive. But, oh, which one? Go on. 
See if you can figure it out. Make your choice. Make your kill. I just want to observe and admire. Am I to take your silence as acceptance? Then you know where we stand. Make your kill and we're square. Repayment of your debt is but a discreet knife thrust away. So we have a new quest here with friends like these. Astrid of the Dark Brotherhood informed me that by killing Grella the Kind, I have robbed her organization of a kill. I have been taken captain, captive and moved to some remote shack. Astrid will only give me the key if I kill someone she has taken captive to repay my debt. And who are these captives she's talking about? Oh, there they are. So, a couple things. Number one, this is the only instance of someone sitting like this and... As you grow older, as you play video games, you start to break things down, even if you're not a game developer, because I'm not a game developer, obviously, but, like, this is the only the instance of someone sitting like key. this. Can you figure out who has the contract? Which one will you choose? So someone had to program this posture for Astrid, and they never the used it again. Is killing me. And so it's just kind of Can interesting that the they contract? wouldn't use that ever again. Because, you know, the way the, the Jarls sit, they all sit like that, sort of slouch back in their chair. But, yeah, this is the only instance of that. Also, it's not clear, but we could actually kill Astrid instead, and that would start you on a completely different path. However, that is not the path Adrenoch wants to take. So, we have three captors here. Whoever this is, clearly we got off on the wrong foot. Ah, uh, but no worries. This is not the first time I have been bagged and dragged. Come now, whatever the problem, we can talk about it like civilized folk, hmm? Who are you? Ah, Varsha, at your service. Obtainer of goods, taker of lives, and defiler of daughters. Have you not heard of me? Perhaps I will have my people carve my name in your corpse as a reminder. Well, know which one it is, right? <laughs> Would someone pay to have you killed? Me? <laughs> Are you serious? Answer me or I'll paint this room with your blood. Fool, don't you get it? I live in the shadow of death every day. A knife in every doorway. A knocked arrow on every rooftop. If one of my enemies would not pay to have me killed, I would take it as a personal insult. Tell you what, you release me and I promise my associates will not hunt you down like an animal and butcher you in the street. It is a win-win. I'll think about it, Vasha. Get these things off of me! Coward. Stealing a woman from her home for shame. Who are you? None of your damn business who I am. If you're going to kill me, just do it already. Esmara is my witness. If I didn't have this hood on right now, I would spit right in your face. Would someone pay to have you killed? Excuse me. What kind of question is that? One last time. Would someone pay to have you killed? I'm kneeling here with my hands bound and a sack over my head. And you have the gall to ask me that? What do you think, genius? I don't have time for this nonsense. I've got a home to keep and children to feed. Now, let me out of here! I... I can hear you talking out there. Please, let me go. I've done nothing to you. Is this about that raid last week? I told Holgrim there was no honor in killing sleeping men, but he wouldn't listen. It wasn't my fault, I swear! Who are you? My name is Fulltime. I'm a soldier. Well, mercenary, really. You know, a, a, a sellsword. I've lived in Skyrim all my life. That's all. I'm a nobody, really. So, can't you just let me go? Would someone pay to have you killed? What? Oh, God. I don't want to die. Answer me or die. <sighs> Please. I, I don't know. I mean, I'm a soldier. I've killed people when I was ordered to. Maybe there was some times. Sometimes I got carried away. But 
War is war, right? Nobody could blame me for that. Could they? Ah, uh, what did I do? Uh, please, whatever it is, I'm sorry. Hmm. We have three people here. All have reasons that someone would want them dead. Especially Vasha, if we're being honest. But I think there's only one way to handle this. And that's just to kill them all. What do you guys think? Well, well. Aren't we the overachiever? Three possibilities, three victims. Must have been one of them, right? So why take chances? So who was it who had the contract? Oh, no, no, no. Don't you understand? Guilt, innocence, right, wrong? Irrelevant. What matters is I ordered you to kill someone, and you obeyed. So, I'm free to go? Of course. And you've repaid your debt in full. Here's the key to the shack. But why stop here? I say we take our relationship to the next level. I would like to officially extend to you an invitation to join my family, the Dark Brotherhood. In the southwest reaches of Skyrim, in the Pine Forest, you'll find the entrance to our sanctuary. It's just beneath the road, hidden from view. When questioned by the Black Door, answer with the correct passphrase, Silence, my brother. Then you're in, and your new life begins. I'll see you at home. Alrighty. Our map has been updated, and we've also Remember, been given the abandoned the shack key. The is in the southern pine forest, just beneath the road and away from prying eyes. Just kidding. Alright, so let's explore this abandoned shack. Obviously, there's a lot of blood all over the place. I mean, these guys were in pretty good condition. So where did all this blood come, uh, come from? I guess Dark Brotherhood probably used it for different things at different times. Let's search these guys, shall we? So Vasha has some fine clothes, fine boots, and an execution hood. I'm thinking there are only three of these hoods. So we're going to take one of them. And uh, we're also going to look at their faces, obviously. There's Vasha, and uh, here we have Alea Quintus, who has nothing. Oh, I guess we should, yeah, we'll just take all of their hoods and take a look at their face. Oh my god, her eyes were open when I took that mask off, and then they closed instantly. Did you guys see that? That was creepy as hell. Actually, pretty pretty. Um, I don't think I use. I think I only take Vasha's, so I don't think I've ever seen these guys' faces, actually. I don't know why I never thought to do that, but uh, uh, full-time the Fearless, who obviously... Has a misnomer as a name. Let's take a look at him. Oh, he's got that that bleeding eye stuff. Or does he? That thing that that one guy in the companions has. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Maybe it's just like heavy eye shadow. So obviously we can use this place as a house if we would like to. But um, I don't think it would be Adronach's digs. Adronach definitely has an evil side. Which is why he will be a fit for the Dark Brotherhood. But he's not like pure evil like a serial killer like lives out in the, in the middle of nowhere in an abandoned shack and murders people that's not the type that he is but he definitely has an evil side so with friends like these i have killed one of the captives as astrid instructed well i killed all of them so that's incorrect and must now gain entrance to the dark brotherhood sanctuary which is located in the southern pine forest astrid has provided me with the correct passphrase silence my brother enter the dark brotherhood sanctuary which is going to be near falk wreath which, unfortunately, we have not been to yet. Which means, once again, we must climb in back and be off. Although, there's an enemy near me somewhere. So I guess I'll just see you guys at Falk Reef. And we have arrived in Falk Reef. Did you see a dog out there? No, some wolves, but no dogs. Oh, well. The blacksmith is offering a reward for a dog he saw on the road. I was hoping you'd seen it. I guess I'll stay on the lookout. Keep your nose clean while you're here, outsider. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Yeah? And? I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. 
Let's see here. Ah, there's a new lady in charge of the orphanage in Riften. She asked me to hand out these notices to everyone I met. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Okay, so this has ties to the Hearth Fire DLC. I always want to say Hearthstone because I played Hearthstone for quite a long time uh, in recent times in the past year. But, yeah, this has to do with the Hearth Fire DLC. We have Consider Adoption. Wanted, a good home. In these days of war and strife, the orphans of Skyrim are the true victims. Many have no one left to turn to and face a life of hard labor, poverty, and misery. If you could provide a stable home for one of these innocent children, please consider adoption. Whether you choose to adopt from us or to take in someone closer to home, you can make a difference in a child's life. For more information, inquire with Constance Michelle Honor Hall Orphanage, Riften. And there's another page with literally nothing on it. Isn't that wonderful? So we have a little bit of ways to get to the uh, Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary, so what better topic to talk about than adoption? I personally could never do adoption unless literally it was the only option. Um, I need to have like kids be from my blood. This is just me personally. This is something that I've always maintained. And I do want kids. I'm not going to have them at least for another five years, I think. But... Uh, yeah, I, I, I couldn't really consider adoption personally, so I was kind of disappointed that you can only adopt children. You can't, like, have a legacy of your own. And that's not to say anything against adoption. I'm sure there's some people out there that uh, are adopted. It's nothing like that. Um, one of my close family members is actually adopted. It's just that me personally, I, it's it's not for me. But, uh, yeah, I was, I was just sad to learn that you can't, like, I don't know, have sex with your wife in this game. And they could just do the video game cop-out where fades to black and maybe you hear some moans or something like that and then hey look at that you have a kid like I, I don't know they should have just added a pregnancy cycle or something I just don't know why they only gave you the option to adopt you're the you're the freaking dragonborn like come on your blood is so powerful yet you can't procreate doesn't make sense anyways here we have a very spooky door what is the music of life silence my brother And it's just that easy, ladies and gentlemen. We've entered the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary, and we need to speak with Astrid. But we shall do that in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching this one, ladies and gentlemen. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.